Hey, Bill Brister with Chicago Title. Here with recap number three of Thursday, August 4th at Inman Conference San Francisco 2016. The morning kicked off with Gary V, and he was everything we thought he would be. He brought his A game, spoke for 45 minutes, and really talked to the crowd about what they need to be thinking about looking down the road, not trying to react to today, but what's going to happen in the future, and how are you going to be placed in the right place when that stuff happens. One of the things Gary shared was the fact that they're redesigning the website for VaynerMedia, his company. And the desktop version of the website is going to look like an error page with a line underneath that says, Hey, Bonehead, it's 2017. What are you doing here? Get on your phone. And that really was speaking to the point that search is happening on phones. It's not just mobile first anymore when you're designing something online. It's mobile only. You have to think that way in the world of real estate. That's where your people see their stuff. They're driving around their cars. They're going to be on their phones. He had a great quote towards the end of his talk. It was success can be summed up in two virtues, we'll call them work ethic and patience. That's tough because you got to work hard and then you got to be patient to see the results when you're talking about digital. There's no other way. So what I've got here is a little clip. It's about a minute of Gary talking and just to give you a sense and a flavor of what he did for us. So enjoy this, a little, uh, little snippet from Gary Vinerchuk. said that they would never go on Snapchat. It was stupid. And now have Snapchat accounts. Raise your hand. Raise it. Raise it high. Raise it high. Don't be embarrassed. It's a good thing. Raise it high. You need to understand, in those hands is where all the money is. I'm going to buy the New York Jets because I'm really good at knowing what you say you're not going to do and then know you're going to actually do it. Plenty of people in this room, especially if they're over 45, said that they would never get a cell phone, that their pager was good enough. <laughs> a ton of you said you would never go on Facebook eight, 10 years ago. Why? It was for college kids, and now you live in it. Right? We just saw 20, 15% of this room say they would never go on Snapchat. And now there's t-shirts in the crowd and on phone cases and it's a part of our world, right? 24 minutes ago, it feels like, definitely two, three days ago, five days ago for some of you that watched my blog, I said that I was worried about Instagram's positioning in the marketplace, that it was getting squeezed between Snapchat and Facebook. And then out of nowhere I wake up and I make a product feature change that competes with Snapchat and makes it dramatically more relevant overnight. This is a moving marketplace. A little later in the session, Chris Smith of Curator, an author of The Conversion Code, and a guest on the Real Estate Sessions podcast, actually came up on stage, kicked Snapchat to the curb, and said, look, folks, it's about sales. You are salespeople. He channeled Alec Baldwin from Glen Gary, Glenn Ross, and he laid out techniques and strategies for actually converting sales on the phone. I know a lot of agents don't like doing this, but there are some agents who are killing it doing this. And Chris was great explaining those strategies step by step. If you want to see Chris's talk, just go by the conversion code. It's broken down into three sections that are very easy to understand. The first one being generation, the second one being social, and the third one all about conversion. Scripts, how do you handle calls, how do you handle objections, how do you get someone down the path where you can then close. So if that's your style, the conversion code's your book. That's what I got for today. Now, tomorrow the conference ends at noon. Uh, I will spend a bulk of my update tomorrow talking about a lot of the different technologies that uh, I think kind of work for us. A few really kind of piqued my interest. That'll be in tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for your time and attention. I know these are incredibly long videos, and anyone that's taken a video class with me knows I'm way beyond where I should be. But this stuff is just so good. You want to talk about the fire hose. This fire hose here has been amazing, and I'm hoping just to distill it down to little bite-sized chunks to help you out. So we'll see you tomorrow.